Uh, today we will discuss about uh, Meselson and Stahl experiment. Uh, this was the pioneer experiment which eventually proved that uh, uh, DNA replication is semi-conservative. So uh, the moment we talk about that uh, DNA replication is semi-conservative, it means that uh, uh, one of the uh, parent uh, strand is going to be conserved and another strand is going to be formed afresh. So this is a parental DNA and newly DNA is going to synthesize in this uh, fresh strand. So whatever this new structure is formed, that will be half new and half old. So that's why we call them semi-conservative. So initially there was a, a lot of hue and cry that what exactly the mode of uh, uh, replications. So uh, different ideas were given uh, like uh, uh, conservative, like uh, uh, semi-conservative, like uh, dispersive. But eventually, uh, it was a Meselson and Stahl experiment which convincingly proved that uh, uh, DNA replication is semi-conservative. So altogether, we can see there are uh, two types of evidences uh, that is actually evident in case of uh, DNA replications. The very first is given by Meselson and Stahl experiment. So they have uh, uh, done their experiment with the help of uh, E. coli and uh, the name of the experiment was DNA banding technique. Similarly, in case of eukaryotes, it was proved by Taylor through their auto radiographic study on a plant Vesia fava. So today we will discuss uh, the Meselson and Stahl experiment. So for this experiment, Meselson and Stahl first of all have grown a bacteria in radioactive medium containing N15 for a relatively longer duration of time. So if the bacteria is growing in N15 medium, it means that its both strand is going to be radioactive as we can see in this particular diagram. So this red color is signifying that both strands is going to have a radioactive N15. After this, DNA is extracted from bacteria and it is dissolved in cesium chloride. Later, sample was spun and a gradient was obtained. So depending upon their density, a heavy band was obtained. So this entire event was referred to as a generation zero. Later, from the same generation, the bacteria were transferred to the N15 medium and they were allowed to grow only for 20 minutes. So 20 minutes was taken. Why? Because in 20 minutes bacteria completes its life cycle. It means that one complete DNA replication is going to happen within the 20 minutes. So that's why it is allowed to grow only for the 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes as a result of one replication what will happen that one older strand is going to pair with a one new strand. So when this sample were subjected to the ultra centrifugation, we got another band. This was the medium one. Why it is medium one? Because here we can see that altogether DNA molecule consists of one heavy that is N15 and one lighter that is N14. So that's why we are going to get a medium band. So this entire thing was referred to as a generation one. When the same bacteria is going to allow for further growth, say generation two, then what happened? That the strand will open. And as a result, since the new source is always N14, so the original N14 will remain the same. So as a result, we will get one medium band and one light band as it is clearly visible over there. So this was actually referred to as a generation two. So can you guess what is going to happen when the bacteria is going to allow for further growth? Be it, let, let it be say uh, after uh, 40 minutes, let it be say 60 minutes or 80 minutes and so on. Can you guess? 
yes you are quite right so what happens that since the new source is only n14 so the original dna that is containing the heavier one and the lighter one is will remain intact and there is going to addition of always the new n14 so it means that the width of the lighter band is always going to increase so this entire series of experiment eventually proved that dna replication is semi semi conservative okay so let's see this entire experiment like this we can see there that uh, initially we have started with a n15 dna so this was the heavier band now in uh, after one generation this was the intermediate band what we can see there since there is a one lighter molecule one heavier molecule so all together it is going to form the intermediate one and when it is subjected to generation 2 then what will happen that we will have one lighter one intermediate and when both will open they will form their exact copy like this so naturally we are going to have one lighter band and one intermediate band so this is all about Michelson and Stahl experiment now from competitive purpose there are very set uh, types of questions it is asked so here is the problem these are the types of questions So I suggest you just send the answers to these questions to our uh, office in this particular email ID that is info at the rate of apptechets.com and all correct entries will be getting or uh, some of the free videos that's all happy watching videos from uh, aptacats.com you can also test yourself in our testing portal that is www.toptrigger.com thank you